stand as you are able in order to welcome our platform party and our OVC class of 2027. So please stand if you're able. standing for the platform party now. Thank you.
join me in thanking our piper, James Doucette, from the Guelph Pipe Band. Please be seated. <laughs> Dean Richtel, honored speakers, fellow veterinarians, student veterinarians, and our cherished guests. Hello and good afternoon. My name is Dr. Joanne Hewson and I'm the Associate Dean, Students and Academic for the Ontario Veterinary College. And I have the great privilege on behalf of Dean Wichtel, the OVC faculty and staff, and all of the student veterinarians in our OVC community to welcome all of you to this ceremony today that recognizes the point at which this class your OVC 2027 Emerald Elk formally joins the veterinary profession as our student veterinarian colleagues. At this significant moment in the life of our OVC class of 2027, and a very exciting time of significance for all of you as their supporting cast celebrating in this day, it is important to recognize our connections to those around us and to offer gratitude to the land and people of this area. The University of Guelph resides on the ancestral lands of the Attawandron people and the treaty lands and territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit. This land has been stewarded through the Dish with One Spoon Covenant, a recognition that we all draw from the same resources of the land and that to collectively thrive we must only take what we need to ensure there is enough to sustain everyone that shares this dish with us. Today, Guelph is home to many First Nations, Métis and Inuit peoples, and acknowledging them reminds us of our important connection to this land where we learn and work. Our land acknowledgement recognizes not only Guelph's Indigenous presence in the past, but also recognizes and celebrates our ties with our Anishinaabe, Haudenosaunee, and Métis neighbors of the present and of the future. Particularly now, the day following the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation, I am thankful to be part of a veterinary college that acknowledges this history towards shaping a better future together, with some fa fairly recent curricular additions to our DVM program that help our student veterinarians and wider OVC community to further learn and reflect upon the history of Canada and our Indigenous peoples. In the early days of the veterinary program, the 2027 elk have already begun to explore how OVC and the veterinary profession as a whole can actively engage in understanding truths regarding colonization and meaningfully working towards reconciliation. We do not take this reflection lightly. There is much we can do, are doing, and will continue to do as we strive to strengthen our relationships with our Indigenous peoples, working together as partners in this journey. Shortly, I will be introducing our platform of speakers, representing key veterinary organizations that support and champion our veterinary profession in many ways. Before introducing our platform speakers, I'd like to take a moment myself to congratulate the OVC class of 2027 on your accomplishments and to welcome you to the profession. I'm truly looking forward to sharing in this journey with you over the next four years. So welcome. I've had the great fortune to share several orientation week activities and some early in-person barn tours with the Emerald Elk already, and even a few have had some handling labs with us. I've greatly enjoyed getting to know you as a class so far and as individuals a little bit. I can't wait for more opportunities together. I truly can't. 
From a class of three students to graduate from the Ontario Veterinary College for the first time in 1866, apparently after only a mere three sessions of training, can you imagine? <laughs> You'd be done. <laughs> Today we welcome this class of 132 exceptional individuals into our college. As you join over 11,000 alumni from the OVC, that have the great fortune to be members of the veterinary profession. Today is indeed a time of great celebration, but it is also a moment of gravity to reflect on all that comes with entering a profession. I spoke of this with you briefly during orientation, but I think it's important to also share it with your family and friends too, so they can recognize and support you as you take on new responsibilities. From the moment you were accepted into the Doctor of Veterinary Medicine program, or more likely, even as early as the first time you declared that you wanted to be a veterinarian, your family, friends, loved ones, and society already associated you with the characteristics they expect from a professional. Everything you do, everything you say, it all reflects back on the veterinary profession already. And we count on you, just as you can count on us, to safeguard the societal view of our profession every day. It is tough to have your every action scrutinized in this way, I know. And hopefully, you will feel supported by all of us here today as you carry this extra responsibility with you in the days, months, and years to come. We've got your back. Today you will hear from our platform speakers and will quickly come to see that you will be well supported by all of them as well as you accept and cherish this welcomed burden of responsibility. I should note every year I try to find a different word instead of burden. <laughs> I'm trying to communicate to you that although there's a lot of weight that comes with being a veterinarian, it is a heavy package of opportunity more than anything else. Your veterinary degree will bring you opportunities that many others don't have. And we all need to steward this privilege and trust within our society as being our highest priority. I also encourage you to explore this privilege and to take time over the next four years to see what all the doors can be opened by your DVM degree so that you take an informed and inspired first step out into the profession in four short years. It's an exciting time. Again, I am thrilled to be here with you today sharing this moment. I also want to say that to those of you who are, who are here as the supporting cast, the cherished guests, you are now a member of the extended OVC family. So welcome to all of you. Thank you. Now to bring greetings to you and to welcome this class are representatives of the organized veterinary profession. Dr. Timothy Arthur, President-elect, is here today to welcome the class of OVC 2027 on behalf of the Canadian Veterinary Medical Association, which is the voice of the profession across the nation in promoting animal welfare and one health, ensuring optimal care for animals, people, and our environment. Dr. Arthur is a companion animal veterinarian with a special interest in ophthalmology and wildlife medicine. He is a 1982 Ontario Veterinary College graduate who completed externships at Angel Memorial Animal Hospital in Boston and the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. And after two years in practice, he established the Coxwell Animal Clinic in Toronto. Dr. Arthur has volunteered with the Toronto Academy of Veterinary Medicine providing continuing education Toronto's, to Toronto's veterinary community. He's organized Toronto's annual rabies clinics, sat on the College of Veterinarians of Ontario Complaints Committee, was part of the Ontario Veterinary Medical Association's working group that established a voluntary fee guide for the profession, 
was a council member and president of the College of Veterinarians of Ontario, and was a board member and president of the Toronto Wildlife Centre. Recently, he was elected as the CVMA's Ontario Council Representative and sits on the board of the OVMA. Dr. Arthur currently resides in Ottawa with his wife and their son. Dr. Arthur. Thank you. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Bon après midi. Uh, after hearing that, I don't know why, but I'm sort of almost embarrassed a little bit. But <laughs> off topic, there's nothing like volunteering. It, it pays you back immensely. So yes, you're going to spend the next four years learning. You're going to spend the next four years practicing and getting comfortable. But after that, something hopefully kicks in and it's kind of, I'm going to give back and, and, and please, please consider that. Um, I am truly honored uh, to be here today to welcome you, the graduating class of 2027, to, to the beginning of your time here at the historic Ontario Veterinary College. Uh, this college was established in 1869, uh, making it the second oldest veterinary school in North America, and that's, that's no mean feat. Um, to all members of the Autochtone community, uh, you have my thoughts on this, uh, on this special weekend. To the families and friends who are here today, <clears throat> I welcome you and I thank you for the role you've played in bringing these future colleagues of mine to this point in their career. Uh, my name is Tim Arthur and it is a pleasure uh, as the, uh, the president-elect of the Canadian Veterinary Medical Association to address you. Being here today to see you, see you receive your blue coat, uh, your stethoscope, which symbolized the beginning of your journey at the OVC is all the more special to me because, as said, I'm a, a Guelph graduate as well, class of 82. Uh, and it seems like yesterday that I was here experiencing the same feeling and pride and excitement as you are. In my day, we didn't have a get-together like this, but we had beer at that point, so it was, it was equally as exciting. Um, as you are all aware, our profession is diverse. Uh, we cover all aspects of animal medicine, uh, as well as, uh, excuse me, we call our all animal species, as well as all aspects of veterinary medicine, from private practice uh, to research, from public health protection to environmental health monitoring, uh, from disease surveillance and food hygiene to animal welfare advocacy, just to name a few. The CVMA is the association that advocates for all veterinarians. Uh, we are the voice both nationally and internationally. Uh, a month ago, I had the privilege of getting together with our Spanish colleagues to celebrate the 170th anniversary of the oldest veterinary school in North America in Mexico City. At the CVMA, we have many but three main priorities. Uh, to be a powerful voice for animal welfare, to be the science-based and rational voice commenting on national Canadian issues such as animal health, public health, ecosystem health, and food safety. And three, to help veterinarians achieve a successful career within a balanced life. Uh, this last priority should be the foundation of every veterinarian's career. You're entering a profession known for its high stress, also known for its type A, high achieving personalities, and also, unfortunately, known for its high rate of mental health concerns. These challenges will start as your time as students, but don't wait until you graduate to seek balance and well-being. <clears throat> you owe it to yourselves during your preparation to serve Canada's animals and the people who love and care for them. OVC class of 2027, <clears throat> as you embark on this educational experience, do so in a balanced way. Grow in both knowledge and wisdom. Don't let your individual passions and goals cause you to forget the needs of your classmates. You're not joining a competition, you're joining a community. To the parents in the audience, <clears throat> I say, your children have achieved great things. 
but you may need to remind them that once they enter the halls of this hallowed institution, the time of competition is over and the time of enjoying the fruits of their labors is upon them. As veterinary students, you are all members of the CVMA and we are committing to, uh, committed to supporting our students and you do have a seat at our council table. We have established a students committee which facilitates communication between our council and the five uh, Canadian veterinary schools. Throughout the year, that student committee will be organizing many interesting and informative events, including the much anticipated student symposium to be held en janvier to the Faculty of Médecine Veterinaire en Saint-Hyacinthe. I know that you will all work hard, <clears throat> but take time to enjoy the journey. Move forward with hope and confidence, and remember that no matter where you go, the CVMA is there to help you every step of your way. Merci beaucoup. Thank you, Dr. Arthur. Thank you also to the Canadian Veterinary Medical Association for supporting our newest class of student veterinarians. The Ontario Veterinary Medical Association is the organization that represents veterinarians and our interests in this province. Dr. Matthew Richardson is the president of the OVMA and has always had a passion for animals and science. After earning an undergraduate degree in ecology and evolutionary biology, he completed a PhD in zoology, studying the reproductive physiology there's a lot of ologies here, of birds breeding above the tree line in Arctic and Alpine environments. Despite a love of teaching and working with animals, Dr. Richardson realized that the life of an academic was not for him, and he returned to Ontario, where he graduated from the veterinary program here at the Ontario Veterinary College in 2007. Since graduation, Dr. Richardson has worked at and is the owner of the Animal Clinic in downtown Toronto. Dr. Richardson's professional interests include surgery, dentistry, and diagnostic imaging. Dr. Richardson is also the president of the Farley Foundation, founder of the OVMA Environmental Sustainability Committee. He is on the board of directors of the Veterinary Emergency Clinic and is a member of the CVMA Green Initiative. He lives in Toronto with his wife, three children, two dogs, three birds, and several fish. In his spare time, Dr. Richardson can often be found either with a camera in hand or riding his bike, but hopefully rarely both at the same time. <laughs> Dr. Richardson. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to begin by extending my congratulations to you, the class of 2027 Emerald Elks. It's an honor for me to stand before you today and welcome you to this wonderful profession. Your acceptance into the Ontario Veterinary College represents a significant milestone. Not only does it mean you're, you're well on your way to fulfilling your dream of becoming a veterinarian, it's also the first step in a career that offers an incredible range of opportunities. It's also a chance to make a real difference in the lives of both people and animals. I'm sure it's been a long road to get here, one that's had many challenges, but you've all made it and you all deserve recognition for the hard work and dedication that's earned you a spot in one of the world's top veterinary schools. It's only a few weeks into the, into the semester, but you're likely already busy with labs, presentations, and tests. You're probably counting down the time until you can begin your career in veterinary medicine. While four years may seem like an eternity, I can tell you from first-hand experience that your time at OVC will be over before you know it. Twenty years ago, I was sitting in my professional welcome ceremony as a member of the 2007 Golden Grizzlies. Earlier that year, I had finished a PhD and come to the difficult realization that the life of an academic was not for me. The only time I had been to Guelph was for my OVC interview. I knew nobody in my class. I had just moved from the hip and vibrant city of Seattle, Washington to the one stoplight town of Morriston, Ontario, just, just south of here. <laughs> My wife had left an excellent job at a rapidly growing internet bookstore that I think you've all probably heard of, Amazon.com, <laughs> and moved to Guelph with me. 
I remember thinking, I sure hope this doctorate is the one that makes me professionally satisfied. My advice to you today is simple. Enjoy your time at OVC. It's an experience that you'll only have once. You will cherish the memories of your time spent here, and you will gain valuable skills and friendships that will last you throughout your veterinary career. I'd like you to look at your fellow classmates and promise to support each other throughout the next four years and beyond. There will be challenges, challenges that only your fellow veterinarians can understand. I guarantee that you that whatever struggles you face, you are not the first veterinarian to face it, and you won't be the last. And taking the time, take, and talking to someone who has been there before can be invaluable. Last weekend, I had the pleasure of attending the Northern Ontario Veterinary Association Conference in Elliott Lake. I reconnected with classmates and colleagues, met new friends, and even paid bocce on the same team as Dean Witchell. Uh, we didn't do so well. But it reminded me of how important it is to take the time to reconnect and check in on colleagues and see how they're doing. I also encourage you to take advantage of the many learning opportunities available to you outside of school. The Ontario Veterinary Medical Association offers a variety of volunteer options for students, and as someone who's worked with the OVMA for several years, I can promise you that it will be a rewarding experience. If you're interested in a leadership role, consider becoming a student representative on the OVMA Board of Directors. If you enjoy writing, use your talents to submit an article for OVMA's Focus magazine. You can also join us at the OVMA's annual conference and trade show in January and at the Great Ideas Conference in June. Or, if you're interested in fundraising and volunteering, you can organize or participate in an event in support of the OVMA's charitable arm, the Farley Foundation, which subsidizes the cost of veterinary care for pets of those in financial need. Veterinary medicine is both tremendously rewarding and highly demanding. There are thousands of vets across our province who have been where you are now and sh with shared experiences, hopes, and fears. Uh, and being in a community with one another helps us all flourish. As a profession, we are stronger together, and the OVMA is here to help. This afternoon, the OVMA is pleased to present each of you with a personalized stethoscope as, your, as a symbol of your entry into the veterinary profession. We hope that this stethoscope will become an essential tool as you immerse yourself in veterinary medicine over the next four years. When you graduate, we hope that the stethoscope reminds you that the OVMA is always here for support and guidance throughout the years. Congratulations, and I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you, Dr. Richardson. It's wonderful to have such a warm welcome from the Ontario Veterinary Medical Association. And I get the honor of helping them break in those stethoscopes in a few short weeks. <laughs> yes. The College of Veterinarians of Ontario is the provincial licensing body for veterinarians, serving to protect the public's interests. Dr. Lori Gold is the past president for the College of Veterinarians of Ontario. He graduated from the Ontario Veterinary College in 1983 and has been a practicing companion animal clinician his whole career. Following graduation, he worked in a number of hospitals. He started a house call practice in Oakville in 1988 and opened an animal hospital, the Animal Hospital of River Oaks in Oakville in 1989, which he still owns, directs, and in which he continues to practice. For the last 11 years, Dr. Gold has been a volunteer instructor as a coach practitioner in the Art of Veterinary Medicine, which is one of our courses in the DVM program for OVC students. He helps students with communication skills in client inter interactions. He's also been an interviewer for admission to the OVC. Maybe you've met him before. <laughs> Dr. Gold and his wife, Sarah, have one son, as well as a cat called Pirate, a standard poodle schooner, and a puppy golden retriever sailor. I sense the trend. There's some love of the sea here in this family. Dr. Gold, I invite you to the podium. Thank you so very much. You know, it's very difficult. Elizabeth is very clear we only have three minutes to talk, and that's not easy because there's so much to share 
and so much to tell you. You know, those of us that have been around a little bit, we all started our first year. And very quickly, the years go by. I mean, I'm on a first name basis with wonderful people. Tim Arthur and I knew each other at school. This is my 40th anniversary of graduating from this school. And in my first, uh, in my, well, my third year summer job, you're now thinking you're pretty capable. Tim was working at the clinic where I worked as a summer student. And I'll never forget one day Tim says to me, you know, Lori, I don't feel like doing this spay. How about you do it? And, and that's the kind of ongoing care and concern that our friends here are relating to in our community and all this conversation about stethoscopes. One of the first things I did when I got into OVC was I ran for class president, which I was for the next three years. And one of my first tasks was to define which stethoscope we ought to have. And I ordered, back then it was 129 stethoscopes or so. And just last week, we were talking about this at work. I'm still using that stethoscope that I bought as a student. It's like an old friend, this old Littman that I've been using for so long. Yeah, I've got better stethoscopes now, but the sounds that you're about to learn become close to home. Anyway, I'm not supposed to just chat with you. <laughs> Elizabeth is going to get mad. So good afternoon. I am so pleased to be here and have the opportunity to welcome you. Dean Wickfield, Dr. Hewson, honored guests, and most importantly, members of the class, 2027 Emerald Elk. We were talking earlier about the colors. It's only been a decade or so people have been choosing colors. We were the, the wolf, but we never talked about colors back then. On behalf of the Council of the College of Veterinarians of Ontario, I'm delighted, really, to congratulate you and to recognize your significant step on your path and your journey to becoming a licensed veterinarian. This is such a big moment. I want you to enjoy it. As we discussed, there's a lot of work coming and there's a lot of work in the rest of your life as well. But the day-to-day -day interaction with your colleagues which are surrounding you and the people you'll meet in the future that move you toward a career in veterinary medicine which is just so special. Yeah, there's a lot of work and a lot of stress, but I can't think of anything that is more noble than being a veterinarian. And you know, times <laughs> have changed. Back in our day, there was nothing done online. At that time, the entire process to get into OVC was in paper. And you know, you go through the process of taking the courses, and then you fill out the paperwork, and you apply. And then if you're lucky, you get an opportunity to write an entrance exam, which then was an essay question. And, and even luckier, you got an interview, and then you wait for months checking your physical mailbox. <laughs> Did you get an envelope from the University of Guelph? And then when you get an envelope from the University of Guelph admissions office, you might have gotten a thin one. <laughs> the thin one said something to the effect of, uh, thank you very much for your uh, application to the Ontario Veterinary College, but unfortunately we have received more applications than qualified applicants to have spaces for, and we do wish you the very best in your future endeavors, and of course in the future you can apply again. On the other hand, if you got the thick on <laughs> This one started with a letter that said, congratulations. And at that point, your eyes well up. You can't even read the rest of the letter. You're just so excited that you got it. The rest of the envelope has papers on schedules and classes and rabies vaccinations and titer tests. And well, I need to congratulate all of you received the thick envelope. Veterinary medicine is a professional program, and it makes, you, it makes it much more than an academic one, and this has been alluded to already. As veterinarians, we have a societal obligation to uphold the highest moral and ethical standards, to be trustworthy, and to provide quality veterinary care. Every aspect of your life reflects on the profession, and you're held to that account. Your years here at OVC will equip you with academic training, technical skills, and other essential skills like communication, teamwork, leadership. You may already have an idea in your mind of what it's like to be a veterinarian and what your career path looks like, but you can expect your aspirations might modify, might change, evolve, because we are such a varied profession. One of the things that we love about veterinary medicine is it's always progressing in opportunities to serve animals and the public. Lifelong learning is essential. I remember as a student, they talked about half-life of medical knowledge being about three years, which meant half of everything you knew in three years you needed to be updated on. I don't know if that's true now or not, but keep that in mind. In the months and the years ahead, the CVO looks forward to getting to know you and connecting with you. The College Council welcomes student engagement in the profession-based regulation. Please feel free to contact the college anytime that you've got questions and something uh, that we can help you with. I encourage you to view the college as a partner as you move through to professional practice. And there are very significant changes coming. 
In the next two to three years, the current Veterinarians Act of Ontario is going to be replaced by a new act, and there'll be a new college. So when you're licensed, when you graduate, you'll probably be licensed by the new college. The name isn't finalized yet, although I won't be surprised if it's the College of Veterinary Professionals of Ontario. Along with you, the registered veterinary technicians will also be licensed medical professionals. These are exciting times, and we welcome you to keep an eye on the CVO website for updates as we uh, progress through these changes. And as a practice owner, I can tell you with great pride, we've produced in my, in my hospital, uh, I don't know, somewhere around 10 or 12 veterinarians. I can only guess at the pride that the dean and your professors feel every year at graduation. One of my students, Candace, she's here in fourth year getting ready to graduate, and one is sitting here in this room. Where is Alicia? You didn't expect to get pointed out, did you? <laughs> Couldn't help it, kid. Everybody in the hospital is so proud. Again, on behalf of the college and the council, I wish you great success as you embark upon your studies at the OVC, and thank you all so very, very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Gold, for bringing these warm wishes to our OVC 2027 class from the College of Veterinarians of Ontario. I appreciate you didn't go too rogue with your overtime. That was great. <laughs> the Ontario Veterinary College's Alumni Association links OVC with its graduates, and our Alumni Association is a very strong supporter of the college and of our student veterinarians. Dr. Tamara Hofstede is the 2004 graduate of the Ontario Veterinary College. Since graduation, Dr. Hofstede has worked in industry, including diagnostic laboratories and the veterinary pharmaceutical industry with a focus on parasiticides, as well as continuing to practice as a small animal veterinarian. She is currently the Regulatory Affairs Advisor for Elanco Canada Limited. Dr. Hofstede. Good afternoon. My name is Tamara Hofstad. I am an 04 Falcon, which means I graduated before colors were trendy. I am also a member of the Ontario Veterinary College Alumni Association. And on behalf of the association, I am so pleased to welcome the class of 2027, the Emerald Elks, to OVC and the veterinary profession. So kudos to you. The Alumni Association is composed of graduate members and a representative, a representative of each of the current student classes. The class of 2027 is represented by Bryn Van Winters, which I think is over here somewhere. So thank you, Bryn. Welcome to the team. The OVC Alumni Association supports students and alumni through a number of events, including our Continuing Education Symposia, student and alumni awards, receptions, and networking nights. These events are a great way to get to know the alumni, to network with fellow veterinary professionals, and after graduation, to reconnect with your classmates and colleagues. The Alumni Association also holds Just for Fun events, like our spring hockey tournament, and we look forward to the students joining us in all of these events. The Alumni Association also provides words of wisdom from past graduates to the incoming class. You will find these sage pieces of advice in the pocket of your lab coat. We hope that these messages provide inspiration and insight from someone who has walked your path. The Alumni Association would also like to encourage all students to really engage in your experience here at OVC. So whether that is student clubs, sports, student government, the fraternity, volunteering, life at OVC is more than lectures and labs, assignments and exams. Take the time to embrace and to, to um, enjoy the support of your new community. So as a member of the Alumni Association, it is my pleasure again to congratulate you and welcome the class of 2027 to OVC and to the veterinary profession. Thank you very much, Dr. Hofstede, for representing the OVC Alumni Association here today to welcome our new student veterinarians. Before I move on to our dean, because he's not a graduate from OVC, I'm just going to throw down my class mascot because everybody else did. So 96 links. All right. Dr. Jeff Wichtel is the 11th dean of the Ontario Veterinary College. 
Before his arrival at OVC, he was at the Atlantic Missionary College in Charlottetown, where he was Associate Dean, Graduate Studies and Research. Before joining the Atlantic Veterinary College, Dr. Wichtel taught at Massey University in New Zealand and at the College of Veterinary Medicine at North Carolina State. He received his Bachelor's of Veterinary Science and PhD from Massey and is board certified by the American College of Theriogenologists. Dean Wichtel. Thanks, Dr. Hewson. It's always hard going last, isn't it? Our, our speakers today have been so eloquent, and I just want to go a little off script and uh, just let you know um, how lucky we are in Ontario and Canada to have members and, that volunteer for organized veterinary medicine, such as uh, the speakers that you've heard today, my colleagues, uh, who really uh, are passionate about the profession, that's clear. Uh, but uh, really, we work together in a way that uh, I, don't th I think is pretty unique. Uh, here in Ontario, um, uh, as you've just heard, uh, we're busy looking to the future of the profession with a new Veterinary Act that's really going to attempt to facilitate the care of animals and also take care of the profession uh, in a way that uh, I think is unprecedented. In fact, uh, my wife just came back from Kansas City where all the different regula regulators in North America get together at a meeting. Uh, and Ontario is often cited as a leader uh, in, uh, in the regulation of veterinary medicine uh, to facilitate the work that we, we do and you will do as veterinarians. So thank you to, to all the speakers and, and their words of wisdom. So yes, this is my eighth class as dean that I'm welcoming, uh, and it never gets old. It's a very exciting day, and it's wonderful to see you all. And uh, Emerald Elk, it, it, it is my, my pleasure to officially welcome you to the veterinary profession. You'll find, as Dr. Hewson pointed out, that we have, maybe a little biased, the best students in the world, excellent teachers and staff, uh, a real culture of mentorship here. It really is, as Dr. Hewson says, our job to take care of you. We've got your back. It's perhaps a cliche to say that we're in a, a time of change, but we are. Uh, many of you will be aware that we're in a historic workforce shortage in veterinary medicine, as we are uh, with many other healthcare professions. You will note that the class size has increased a little bit this year, uh, and, and we, you know, with that in mind. But the profession is busy uh, being quite self-reflective, looking for more sustainable models for care, uh, and this can be care for individual animals, for populations, or for our food systems. We've also been very reflective about how we go about our work in serving uh, what would be considered traditionally underserved populations. A real reflection on our social accountability to not just be the veterinarians for the privilege, but to be the veterinarians for animals everywhere that are in need. The profession's always been up for the challenge. I feel like in choosing elk as your, as your mascot, you've made a very auspicious choice. Elk remind us how privileged we are to live on these lands that sustain us. Uh, I think back to, to Dr. Hewson's land acknowledgement, which was lovely and very thoughtful. They also, Elk remind us of the fragility of our ecosystem, something that's made clearer to us every year, as we've heard through the news of, of what was an extremely uh, long and very difficult fire season. Elk are intelligent, strong, even majestic. But more importantly, they're adaptable and they're resourceful. So class of 2027, you'll be part of that new generation of resourceful veterinarians that build these innovative models that I'm referring to to make sure that we embrace that idea of One Health, recognizing our, as a profession, our important roles in social and climate accountability. So we will help you for that in, in, in realizing that exciting future. That's our promise to you. So while it might not seem so, these four years are going to fly by, and I certainly encourage you to take advantage uh, of this period of uh, professional and personal growth and take advantage of all the many opportunities you have uh, to, to work with each other, work with us, build new friendships and connections which will sustain you for the rest of your profession. Thank you very much, Dean Wichtel. I know you and I always find this day very exciting as we welcome such an amazing class of student veterinarians. Don't let them leave yet. Oh, I guess they're going. <laughs> uh, OK, we'll move on. Um, that brings our speaker list to a close. You likely noticed that the introductions for each speaker 
Uh, they, they each included that these individuals in our platform party had gone beyond their veterinary degree to do so many other things too. Leveraging the opportunities that this profession affords to each of us, driven by passion to give back and to have meaningful impact. There is, in, there is indeed so much that each of you will be able to do with your Doctor of Veterinary Medicine degree in four short years from now. Today we've heard from the key associations within our profession who directly support the profession and who greatly impact the future of our student veterinarians right from day one. I hope all of you are OVC 2027 ELK and all of you, our audience and now members of our OVC extended family, can see how well your ELK will be supported in their journey ahead. OVC 27, 2027, that's a mouthful, ELK, today marks an important day in the relationship between you and our associations as your partners along your veterinary professional journey. So Emerald Elk, even though we're not in class right now, I'm gonna give you a piece of homework. Oh man. It is this, do not consider that membership in and involvement with our professions, organizations is an optional affair. It really is not. Instead, I ask you to embrace the supports they can provide to you, but also to take it on as your lifelong commitment to similarly give back by contributing your time and your talent to these organizations. Our organizations, in order to help maintain the vibrant and vital entity that is veterinary medicine in Ontario and Canada. Perhaps one day you will be one of those speakers welcoming a future class of exceptional student veterinarians just like you into what is undoubtedly the best profession in the world. Class, the moment has come for us to welcome you formally into the veterinary profession. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to read out your names in alphabetical order. When you hear your name, please pass along the stage area and acknowledge the platform party and then exit the room by walking up the aisle to my, to my right and enter the concourse outside where you will be magically transformed. <laughs> and then you will reappear to us as a newly minted student veterinarian to our audience of family, friends, loved ones, mentors, OVC faculty and staff. Are you ready? Oh yeah. All right. Participation. <laughs> and to our audience of cherished guests, some instructions for you. I am going to present the elk in alphabetical order, as I mentioned, so you'll know when to expect your elk person's name to come up. While I ask that general applause from the crowd be held in, until the end of the presentation, meaning I do not expect you to clap the whole time that we're doing this, because your hands will hurt, uh, you most definitely, most definitely can choose to openly and loudly celebrate your own student veterinarian's name being called if your emotions overcome you. Are we good? Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Here we go. Lauren Arapoff from Norwell, Massachusetts. <laughs> Rio Bautista from Windsor, Ontario. <laughs> Madeline Benedetti from Pickering, Ontario. <laughs> Elise Bennett from Ajax, Ontario. Kaylin Beddings from Toronto, Ontario. Colleen Black from St. Thomas, Ontario. Louise Bloom from Rock Hill, New York. Sydney Bocchicchio from Richmond Hill, Ontario.
Charles Boo from Waterloo, Ontario. <laughs> Caitlin Brahman from Oshawa, Ontario. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't quite get that right. <laughs> Morgan Briggs from Lion's Head, Ontario. <laughs> Kendra Broadfoot from Stratford, Ontario. <laughs> Haley Braun from Thorold, Ontario. <laughs> Jamie Brown from Mount Bridges, Ontario. <laughs> Nicole Burke from Shelburne, Ontario. <laughs> Kira Burke from Madison, Connecticut. <laughs> Emily Bushy from North Clarendon, Vermont. <laughs> Giselle Carter from Kilworth, Ontario. <laughs> Vincent Coe from Toronto, Ontario. <laughs> Bailey Cohen from Toronto, Ontario. Madison Daly from Canfield, Ohio. <laughs> Preeti Duvet from Richmond Hill, Ontario. <laughs> We're going to work on the enunciation there, sorry. Maria De Stefano from Stony Creek, Ontario. <laughs> Luca De Philippus from Caledon, Ontario. <laughs> Carly Andres from Oakville, Ontario. <laughs> Haley Evers from Combined Locks, Wisconsin. <laughs> Nick Ferentino from Milton, Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> Colin Flynn from Danbury, Connecticut. <laughs> Megan Fox from Toronto, Ontario. <laughs> Riley Furoy from Cambridge, Ontario. <laughs> Chen Gao from Zhengyu, Henyan Province, China. Morgan Garbutt from Little Britain, Ontario. <laughs> Jessica Garden from Stony Creek, Ontario. <laughs> Sarah Gaughan from Lakeville, Ontario. <laughs> Jenna Gosling from London, Ontario. <laughs> Oliver Graham from London, England. <laughs> Amico Gra Graham, sorry, Toronto, Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> Jaden Goebbels from London, Ontario. <laughs> and Juka Ganasengaran from Toronto, Ontario. Tegan Gurney from Toronto, Ontario. <laughs> Kara Hackford from Eden, New York. <laughs> Kayla Hart from Toronto, Ontario. <laughs> Emma Hill from Pakenham, Ontario. <laughs> Laura Hoffer from Elmira, Ontario. Erin Horner from Chatham, Ontario.
Carmen Wong from Toronto, Ontario. <laughs> Jingting Huang from Taipei City, Taiwan. <laughs> Summer Hunter from Tiverton, Ontario. Liesl Innes from Chatham, Ontario. <laughs> Claudia Joukowsky from Peterborough, Ontario. <laughs> Carissa Juncy from Buffalo, New York. <laughs> Ethan Jones from Shawnee, Kansas. <laughs> Brittany Kaplowitz from Sanford, Maine. <laughs> Dylan Keith, Richmond Hill, Ontario. <laughs> Dharma Keller from Kuta, Bali, Indonesia. <laughs> Hannah Klein from Toronto, Ontario. <laughs> Victoria Kotowski from Windsor, Ontario. <laughs> Andre Kurtz from Centennial, Colorado. <laughs> Connie Lamb from Mississauga, Ontario. <laughs> Carissa Lawrence from Scarborough, Ontario. Elodie Lebeau from Ottawa, Ontario. Courtney Ledbetter from Springfield, Michigan. <laughs> Vanessa Lung from Markham, Ontario. Maxwell Lombard from Aurora, Ontario. <laughs> Sammy Luke from Hong Kong. <laughs> Ellen McLaren from Toronto, Ontario. <laughs> Sarah McLean from Woodstock, Ontario. Teresa McGuire from Mississauga, Ontario. <laughs> Bianca Marini from Burlington, Ontario. <laughs> Kaylee McCall from Fenwick, Ontario. <laughs> Alyssa McLaughlin from Beaverton, Ontario. <laughs> Madeline Malul from Waterloo, Ontario. <laughs> Rosalind Metzger from St. Clements, Ontario. <laughs> Kaylee Muse from, Ontario, from Ottawa, Ontario. <laughs> Hannah Michaels from Newmarket, Ontario. Sabrina Montero from Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Jordan Moorhead from Georgetown, Ontario. Grace Moran from Ottawa, Ontario. Lucy Morrison from Hebron, Ohio. Alexis Mundy from London, Ontario. <laughs> Sloan Murray from Lucknow, Ontario. Rebecca Nethercott from Fort Erie, Ontario. Allison Ng from Richmond Hill, Ontario. 
Jillian Oliver from Toronto, Ontario. Paula Oviedo Royas, Santiago, Chile. Isha Punja from Singapore. Elena Parkinson from Toronto, Ontario. Alicia Parika from Oakville, Ontario. Catherine Perry from Toronto, Ontario. Maeve Powis from Toronto, Ontario. Sam Prosterman from Vaughan, Ontario. <laughs> Taylor Quinn from Burlington, Ontario. <laughs> Madeline Reese from Toronto, Ontario. <laughs> Yakion Ren, Mississauga, Ontario. Terry Robbins from Guelph, Ontario. Gabriella Rosa from Hamilton, Ontario. Vanessa Ruiz from Miami, Florida. Celine Said from Barrie, Ontario. Brianne Saunier from Newcastle, Ontario. Nicole Seabach from Waterloo, Ontario. Casey Seifa from Vaughan, Ontario. Chung Shu from Belgrade, Serbia. Randeep Singh from Brampton, Ontario. Jenna Skernak from Newmarket, Ontario. Alexa Smith, Etobicoke, Ontario. Brooks Denisha from Vaughan, Ontario. Miles Sandini from Whitehorse, Yukon. <laughs> Becca Stolzman from Campbell, California. <laughs> Nicole Suzek from Ancaster, Ontario. <laughs> Eva Tang from Scarborough, Ontario. Lana Todorovic from Toronto, Ontario. <laughs> Megan Train from Campbellcroft, Ontario. <laughs> Katie Trepishko from Oakville, Ontario. <laughs> Tiana Termel from Ottawa, Ontario. Anna Tyler from Essex, Massachusetts. <laughs> Samantha Utke from Portland, Oregon. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Femke Van Dyke from Georgetown, Guyana. <laughs> Bryn Van Winters from Toronto, Ontario. <laughs> Joanne Varghese from Mississauga, Ontario. Paige Villeneuve from the Blue Mountains, Ontario. Congratulations. 
Ang Tu Su Vu from Ho Chi Minh, Vietnam. <laughs> Natalie Washun from Mississauga, Ontario. <laughs> Maddie Warren from Paso Robles, California. <laughs> Maki Watanabe from Tokyo, Japan. David Webster from London, Ontario. <laughs> Lucy Wyland from Mount May, Ontario. <laughs> Sarah Willing from London, Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> Nell Witt from Dunrobin, Ontario. <laughs> Sanjoy Shia from Mississauga, Ontario. <laughs> Justin Yaniv, Thornhill, Ontario. <laughs> Serena Zhang from Toronto, Ontario. <laughs> and Madison Zimmerman from Buffalo, New York. So you would not believe what's happening out in the hallway to transform them. It's going to take another couple of minutes for the last couple to come through. And I am not a small talker, so we're going to have a moment of pause. But while we are pausing, I would just invite all of you, Elk, and as well as all your families, if I mispronounce something today, it's with my apologies. And please come and tell me I really want to nail it for the next time round, because we'll see each other a few times. <laughs> I hope I get some of them right. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to wait for the last of the elk to come back into the room, and I'll tell you what we're going to be doing once they all get back in here, is I'm going to present the class to you. So not yet, but I, when I call you, I'm going to ask you to stand up and turn so that all of the audience can welcome you with a thunderous applause. And then what we're going to be doing is reading the veterinary oath. And so this is just a heads up to all of you that are using your fans. Uh, you know, it's really hot in here, absolutely. Um, and so I will tell you this now, that the oath is on the back of the program. So if there are any veterinarians in the crowd as well as our platform party veterinarians and student veterinarians, but any other veterinarians in the crowd will be invited to also read the oath with us uh, when the time comes. So I'm just giving you a heads up, that's where it is. You can pre-read it if you haven't read it. I know some people were thinking they had to memorize it. It's okay, you don't, you're all right. All right, we're just gonna wait for the last few elk to come in. I'm gonna use it as a fan. <laughs> it's really hot up here. <laughs> Do you all have one? <laughs> Almost there. And Elk, if you want to turn a wave to your people, by all means, do that. <laughs> but no clapping yet. in the dramatic pause as well, was just to note that after the ceremony is done and, and uh, we've officially bagpiped everyone out, uh, there will be a reception out in the concourse immediately outside of the doors. Uh, so once it's all done, we'll invite you out to join us in the concourse for the reception. 
Please do keep an eye on the time though, because half an hour after the ceremony ends, there will be a class photo on the front steps of OVC. So hopefully all of your family will help you keep on time to watch out for that as a deadline to be over at OVC for your photo, okay? Uh, and please, if you're driving over to OVC, uh, do not park your car in, in that lot where the front steps are or you'll never get out because <laughs> the crowd of people there will trap your car. So that's just a secret tip that I'm giving you. All right, somehow I've managed to stall long enough that we're all back in the room, which is great. I would ask that the OVC 2027 elk please stand and turn to face your people and just hang on, everybody else. Hang on. Dean Richtel, honored speakers, cherished guests, I give you the Ontario Veterinary College Class of 2027. moment that was awesome all right elk if I could get you to turn to face the front please as the final and very significant piece of the professional welcome ceremony all veterinarians and student veterinarians will be reciting the veterinarians oath we begin and end the doctor of veterinary medicine program by saying this oath which reminds us of our important and lifelong commitment to uphold the highest standards of professionalism and ethics as veterinarians in all that we do. So our newest student veterinarians will join us in saying the veterinarian's oath today and we will do this again on your graduation day. I ask that every member of the OVC 2027 class as our newly minted student veterinarians and any veterinarians with us today in the audience now please stand and join our Dean of OVC, Dr. Jeff Wichtel, as he leads us in reciting the veterinarian's oath. And as I mentioned, the veterinarian's oath can be found on the back page of your program. Dean Wichtel. Thank you, it's, it's certainly my honor to, to lead you in the oath. I'm notoriously bad at this, so I apologize ahead of time. <laughs> um, but yes, if you could read along with me. As a member of the veterinary medical profession, I solemnly swear that I will use my scientific knowledge and skills for the benefit of society. I will strive to promote animal health and welfare, prevent and relieve animal suffering, protect the health of the public and the environment, and advance comparative medical knowledge. I will perform my professional duties conscientiously, with dignity and in keeping with the principles of veterinary medical ethics. I will strive continuously to improve my professional knowledge and competence and to maintain the highest professional and ethical standards for myself and the profession. Thank you. Thank you, Dean Wichtel. I invite the elk now to please be seated as well as the platform party. And it's now my pleasure to introduce Mr. Nicholas Ferentino and Mr. Andre Kurtz, who newly elected. <laughs> newly elected co-presidents of the OVC 2027 class who will speak on behalf of the Emerald Elk. Nick finished his Honours Bachelor's of Science degree in Animal Biology at the University of Guelph last year. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> he is hoping to pursue mixed animal practice and is also planning on pursuing emergency medicine and critical care because he feels he can make the greatest impact on his patients and their families in this environment. Nick has two cats, 
Ben and Theo, that he rescued in 2019, plus a Bernadoodle at home named Rogue. He's so excited to be involved with the amazing extracurricular activities offered here at OVC and feels privileged to serve the Emerald Elk as a co-president. Andre moved around throughout his life, but his favorite place in the world is where he grew up in the mountains of Colorado. He studied neuroscience at Union College in upstate New York, where he was the president of the Union College men's club hockey and was in charge of all things club hockey. <laughs> A great preparation for moving to Canada indeed for his DVM program. Andre worked with many small animal veterinary hospitals before being accepted at OVC. He has a passion for the outdoors that formed through exploring many mountains from Ecuador to Italy. His love for animals rivals his love for adventure. He hopes to work with all animals in a mixed practice setting, focused on caring for the health of his community. When not hiking or loving on animals, he will most likely be cooking or playing any and all games. <laughs> Mr. Ferentino and Mr. Kurtz, I give you the floor. Thank you, Dr. Houston, for the introduction. Good afternoon and the warmest of welcome to all of our distinguished guests, friends, family, faculty members, alumni, and veterinary mentors, but last but, last but not least, the OVC class of 2027. I'm Andre. And I'm Nick, and we are the co-presidents of the class of 2027. We are very grateful for the opportunity to speak today. Over the last few weeks, we have had the pleasure of meeting our classmates through orientation, on Microsoft Teams and Facebook, and during events like Camp Day. To the elk, Dr. Houston kind of stole my line, but we've also got your back, and we are so excited to be sharing this journey with you all. We want to start by saying thank you to everyone who today joined to come together to welcome us to the veterinary profession, and to all those that made this day so special. A huge thank you goes out to the, worldwide, to the World Veterinary Medical Association, the College of Veterinarians of Ontario, the Ontario Veterinary College Alumni Association, the Ontario Veterinary Medical Association, and the Canadian Veterinary Medical Association. <laughs> uh, for your kind gifts and overwhelming amount of support on this day and every day of our veterinary careers. As a class, we are honored to represent and be a part of a college that has been recognized internationally with over 150 years of prestigious contributions to research and education in veterinary medicine and beyond. Andre got the hard part there. Um, class of 2027, now it's time to talk about you. While we've only been here for a month, we've already gotten to know each other quite well and have formed many new friendships. It is amazing to be a part of the welcoming community we have created. We've come to know that our class is full of artists, musicians, athletes, Aggies, and so much more. <laughs> The group of students we have is so diverse and talented. We look forward to learning and growing alongside each other over the next four years and beyond. While our backgrounds are all very different, the one thing we have in common is our passion for veterinary medicine. Our collective journey at o as OVC students began the day we received our acceptance letters. Let's all take a moment to remember how we all felt reading the word congratulations. At that second, we knew that all of our efforts and sacrifices were worth it. Every single one of us should feel so proud for making it here. The road ahead is not going to be easy, but right now, let's celebrate the fact that we are sitting here as OVC's newest students, wearing our celebrated blue coats. Let's also take a moment to acknowledge our family and friends. Their unwavering love and support up to this point has been a huge factor contributing to our success. Our letter of acceptance was a huge accomplishment for us, but also an important moment for the people who believed in us and sacrificed many things to help get us to this point. To our loved ones, please try to not get sick of us when we complain about how much studying we have to do. We would also like to acknowledge all of our mentors, both within the veterinary community and outside, for teaching us and giving us invaluable experiences. We could not have done it without you. Elk, as a new herd, we are here to <laughs> become successful professionals in our field using the resources o OVC has to offer. I believe that over the next four years, our bonds will grow and we will become more than competent veterinarians. We will become increasingly empathetic and thoughtful people. 
We are honored to have such a strong family of colleagues and friends to carry us through the vigor of the next four years and throughout our careers beyond school. As one heard, we will migrate towards that DVM <laughs> and we will strive for a life full of meaningful, positive impact beyond. Thank you all for attending and congratulations to the class of 2027. Thank you very much, Nick and Andre. OVC 2027 Emerald Elk, you have worked tirelessly and with determination to get to today. And now you've begun your journey in this profession. I think it's an appropriate moment to pause in your life to reflect on how you got here. This was not a solitary effort. And many of those who were key to your success are here today, either in body or who are very much here in spirit. It is only fitting then that we take a moment to cherish that support we've received and share our gratitude. Emerald Elk, please do take this moment to stand and turn so that you can give a nod, a wave, applause, or even a whoop of thanks to those important people who have served as your supporting cast in your journey up to today. <laughs> It's definitely so very heartwarming to see such gratitude flowing from our elk who are also buying you dinner tonight, apparently. <laughs> what? Wait! <laughs> In closing, I want to thank a number of people who organized this ceremony. Those who have contributed much time, knowledge and skills to today's event are our summer student Katie Gersel for ensuring the elk received their supplies in time, the phase two student veterinarians who helped today, our support team from the University's Computing and Communications Services and the Associate Dean Students and Academic Office. Our videographer, Kevin Hogg, from the College's Information Technology Services, who's enabling us to provide a live global webcast of this event and who will soon post it on the OVC YouTube channel for you to access. And of course, our, a word of thanks to Elizabeth Lowinger, who didn't put her name on the script, but was the key behind running this event. Thank you, Elizabeth. <laughs> and finally, a word of thanks to James Doucette, our wonderful bagpiper, who you see has come back up to the front. My sincerest thanks once more to our special guest speakers, thank you all, and their various veterinary organizations for taking the time to so warmly welcome our newest student veterinarians to the profession. Last but certainly not least, thank you to all of our audience for being here to support your favorite emerald elk. It means the world to our elk and it means the world to OVC that you are here with us today as part of our family. So this almost brings our ceremony to a close. Our piper will now first pipe out our platform of speakers, then he will return to pipe out the members of the OVC 2027 class. Once the class has fully left the auditorium, the ceremony will have concluded, and you are invited to please follow us out into the concourse to join us for the reception. A very important reminder, that the members of OVC 2027 need to reconvene back at the front steps of OVC at three o'clock. So please keep an eye on the time. Nick and Andre, you are in charge at that point to make the photo happen, okay? It's not Elizabeth and I, we're off the hook at that point, it's you two. All right, congratulations to our OVC 2027 Emerald Elk and their supporting cast.
you in the concourse.